Thank you for joining us. Uh, this is a discussion with Dr. Adarsh Bhimraj, who is an infectious diseases specialist at the Cleveland Clinic Foundation in Cleveland, Ohio, in the United States. Uh, the purpose of this discussion is to look at various treatment options available for COVID-19. Uh, I'd like to point out again that our goal is to shed light on the information that is available to us here in the U.S. Uh, we are not making specific treatment recommendations for any given patient. That's up to their treating physicians wherever in the world they are. Other, so let's uh, talk about another drug, uh, ivermectin, uh, which is uh, which uh, has uh, seen usage, I believe, in India. Uh, I've heard from my physician colleagues there that it may still be uh, it's still being prescribed in certain cases. Where does the scientific literature and data stand on ivermectin with regards to COVID nineteen? Uh, Madhu, ivermectin is again gaining a lot of popularity. As most people know, it is. A anti-parasitic drug. In other words, it's a drug that is used to kill worms and it's used extensively in the tropics for that purpose. Uh, there were some studies which are done in Petri dish which showed it might be effective. And a lot of what we call as observational studies. Again, these are not well done studies or the studies are done in such a way that the conclusions that it might work might not be true. There are a lot of limitations in interpreting these studies. And based on that, people are extensively using it. But if you look at randomized controlled trials, uh, which are done well, they're very small trials, which did not uh, show benefit. The trouble is we don't have enough good studies to tell whether the drug actually works or if the drug is harmful. That's where we are. I think we need more studies to definitely answer if ivermectin is useful.